What's going on, family? I don't want to do a long introduction. Y'all know why I'm here, man. You clicked on this video because I'm 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 so torn to pieces by it. And at what point, man, is enough is enough? Like, at what point, how do we change something like this? Um, so if you haven't heard by now, which I'm sure you have because you clicked on this video, uh, a young man by the name of Maude Aubrey, 25 years old, in uh, Burnswick, Georgia, was going for a jog. And while he was jogging, um, a white man or individual saw him and assumed that he was an individual that was breaking in and doing, I guess they had a lot of break-ins in the community, so they assumed he was the one doing the break-ins. And you did what a concerned citizen would do. You called the police. Which there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you call you call the police. And if you feel that they're, you're concerned about a crime, you call the police. But the part that irks me the most is what you did next. You once you called the police, you decided to grab your weapon, get your comrades, get your son, you know, get another neighbor, load up the trucks and chase him down. Or should I say hunt him down? And I don't understand. I don't understand that. And you know what? To be honest, man, it's not even it's at this point, it's. A mental it's a mental illness that white people that there are some white people that feel that they have this dominance over black people that if I assume you have a crime I can go and hunt you down I've never in my life saw anyone committing a crime that was not against anyone any one of my loved ones or anyone close to me that I said, you know what, calling the p calling the police just isn't enough. Like that, that's my thing. Calling the police wasn't enough. You had to something in you said, you know, let me let me go and grab my weapon, let me get in my truck and let me go hunt him down. And that's the thing that irritates me the most, man. This this theory or this mindset of white dominance that you can do that. But you know what though, it's, it didn't surprise me that it happened in a rural area. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in big cities. It didn't, it didn't surprise me that it happened in a rural area because you definitely felt like you can get away with it in a, in a rural Southern area. Then another thing, and I'm, I'm gonna address clergy on this too, but another thing that bothered me is this video that just came out a couple of days ago of the young man getting murdered. The video itself has been out and been in the DA's possession for months now. This case is actually two months old. So it, it, it hurts so much to see something like this that happens. And then if we didn't have a video, it would just be their word versus Ahmad. And Ahmad is no longer here to defend himself. But I want to say this too, man. And this is to the clergy and you don't know what that means man this is to all the preachers and pastors and right now i'm talking to all white clergymen all white pastors white preachers white ministers any white evangelicals this is your opportunity and i'm saying white for a reason the white this is your opportunity to let us know that you're either with us or against us because silence silence is really just consent your silence is louder than your words could ever be and i'm talking to every white pastor that's seeing this video every white pastor out there this is your time to be to speak volumes i'm tired of looking on all my social media and you see all the black preachers in awe all the black preachers are upset you go on some of the white people, the white pastors page or the white evangelicals page, you don't see nothing as if it don't even, if, if, as if it's not even happening. You know what I'm saying? And, and then not even that, even the major white pastors, we're not seeing press conferences, press release, newsletters, blogs, YouTube, 
anything, anything other than social media. We're not even seeing that. So I pray that he gets justice. Ahmad gets justice. I'm really praying. And, you know, God, forgive me for what I'm about to say. I think at some point we're going to have to have some retaliation. I think retaliation at this point, and, I, and I'm using my words carefully, but I think at this point, man, because nothing, nothing in me has ever, and I grew up in the hood, nothing in me has ever seen a crime being committed and nothing, I've never had an unction to say, man, let me grab my pistol and let me go hunt them down myself. Something's got to change, y'all. We need more unity in our community. And that community, that community in Burnswick, Georgia, needs to come together. And they need to do something about this. Peace to the family, man. Peace for Ahmad.